Hello HyperSTD users, uh, in this video I would like to show you the possibility to read uh, media sources such as PNG files uh, in HyperSTD and also display these images. In the case, for instance, you would like to see the preview of the optimal design you found or you want to compare this optimal design with the baseline design. For the demonstration, I will use a, a connection with flux motor model. Uh, let me show you this model in, in flux motor. So it has been the component for HyperStudy has been exported, and then we connect this model to HyperStudy. Uh, there are three variables here, um, some responses, three responses here. So um, along with these numerical values, which are imported at the end of the simulation. Uh, additionally, you can also uh, bring the preview, the PNG file of uh, your motor design here. So for this, we use this media sources feature. It has, so this feature has been added in HyperStudy 2022. So it means you, you need to have at least 2022 or higher version. If you don't see uh, the tab on your side, you need to click on this button here uh, show or hide tabs and enable media sources tab. And once you have the, this tab on your screen, um, what you can do is to click on Find Media, media and HyperStudy will automatically uh, search for available PNG files uh, under the Run folder. Let me show you the Run folder. So here, Run 1, M1. And so uh, a flux motor in this case provides automatically after the simulation this PNG file, so HyperSteady can find them. They are available here in view and also under parts. So all the available PNG files are detected and imported. So after this, you can decide, uh, you can also do it manually using this button at media source and browse to the file. So based on this, you can decide if you want to keep them all or just select some. I will keep only this one uh, here, design. And uh, now I would like to show you how we can leverage in these uh, images uh, in our exploration uh, studies. So for example, let's see here, uh, design of experiments. We have the same setup with the flux motor connection, um, our responses and medias, media sources. Then we have run, in this case, a full factorial to investigate global relationships uh, between the inputs and outputs. So uh, we have solved eight um, designs in this case. And now let's go in post processing and see what we can do. And so I'll enable again media sources tab. Here we go. And so in this tab, you can see uh, the table of all the eight tested design designs. You can select them one by one and see uh, the preview of your motor uh, or select them all and enable this multiplot view to see all the how they look like all the eight test uh, uh, designs uh, what you can do as well if you disable this multiplot you can play animation to see how animated view of all the tested uh, designs how they look like okay now let's go ahead and see a similar both processing, but in the case of an optimization study. Uh, so it's the same setup, uh, and here we have defined some goals and constraints to minimize uh, the torque ripples and uh, keep the mass less than 2.5 and the mechanical torque above 174. We have run the optimization um, and got optimal design. Now let's go in post processing and we'll look at once again at media um, uh, tab. Uh, but before this, 
uh, I, will, I will enable this post processing view to see to have a better display the results and enable media source so what we see here this is the table of our um, results for all the iterations optimization of, the, of our optimization uh, and what we are generally interested to see is a comparison between the baseline uh, design and the optimal design. So here I select the first one, the baseline design, and this is the optimal one, you know, displayed uh, in uh, this uh, green um, uh, rows. I select this one as well. To have them uh, next to each other, you need to enable this multiplot view. Uh, and so, like this, you can uh, compare how they look like. This is the baseline design, this is the optimized one, with respect to our coils, uh, which was, I remind you, to minimize the, re top, the re uh, torque ripples. So, started from, from 54, it has been increased to 21, and the constraints are met. Uh, and once again, if you want to see an animation of um, all the results from all the iterations, you can uh, select the whole table and you see uh, all the tests, the best, so all the results from the different iterations. Uh, and, to, and to play this as animation, you need to disable multiplot, play as animation. Okay. Um, and the last thing I wanted to show you is that so for those of you who are from so flux motor users, you are certainly familiar with uh, the flux motor catalog, which allows you so for the connection with HyperStudy uh, in the catalog, you can see uh, the different uh, design tested in case you have so. Uh, in case you have um, selected yes when you have exported uh, the coupling component for HyperStudy. So if you select yes here, it means that every design that HyperStudy um, um, uh, launches, will there will be uh, the image uh, saved in the catalog. If you don't do it, they will not be saved. Uh, and so um, now with the possibility to have to have uh, the media sources um, uh, in, in HyperStudy directly, I would say it's, it, it's an alternative um, compared to the catalog. Either you can um, see the images here or uh, look, look at these images in the catalog. It's up to you. You can, uh, you can do both. Um, so if you keep no here, you still be able to see the PNG in HyperStudy to import them and see this preview. Uh, in, and if you select yes, it means that you'll be able to see the PNG in HyperStudy like this and in the catalog, in the Flux Motor catalog. With this, um, I would like to thank you for watching. Bye.